socially responsible organisation is very tritely do the thing right and do the right thing. And no matter what we set out to do, uh, it must be the right thing. It must be the right thing for our franchisees, it must be the right thing for our um, customers, it might, must be the right thing for our staff. And that filters into everyone's thinking. So it's do the right thing and do the thing right. So do the thing right, we're not backing off that, we want to win, but if it's not the right thing then we've got to find another way of doing it right. <laughs> but I guess socially responsible uh, organisations also contribute to their community uh, and, uh, and we certainly have been involved in uh, a great number of other community <coughs> organisations like the Kenya Foundation, like the Slip Slop Slap, the, um, the Kids Alive, anything to do with um, health, health prevention, um, we're partners with the Asthma Foundation, uh, we partner with um, Diabetes Australia, all those sorts of other communities to me is a socially responsible thing to do. We recently uh, put, uh, um, had I think the number, don't hold me to it, uh, 5,000 hearing tests in our pharmacies, um, totally free of charge, uh, run by the Australian um, Hearing um, Association. Uh, out of those, for example, uh, out of 20, we would pick up six people who should be referred to um, have a hearing test. It's purely a community service, there's no return for it. That's what a socially responsible company does. Well, I'd like to say corporate social responsibility is very important, given that that is one of my major roles here you know, at West Farmers, is um, sustainability. So it is important. I think it's getting more important. There's a lot more focus. I think in the past, uh, there's a lot more focus just on the financials of a business performance. These days, investors and analysts are looking a lot closer at how a company performs in corporate social responsibility and sustainability. I think it's very important and, I, and the, the example that I reflect on there is after the floods of, of 2011. I, I think that uh, being, being socially responsible for, for, for what you do and how you help, to, how you help a community in, uh, in a time of need is, is something that, 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 that's a lot more, that, that is a lot higher on the agenda. We have a foundation at, uh, at RBS Morgans that, that, uh, that has been very generous uh, after the floods, but that, but that is something that's very important to us to, 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 to help the community and, to, to in, and in that situation help the community rebuild after a, after a very difficult time. With um, corporate so, um, social responsibility, it's just so much the norm these days and the staff expect it as well. It's, um, it is uh, such an important part of, of the culture of an organisation. In terms of social responsibility, uh, I think every corporation has a responsibility for that. So for Merlot, St Vincent de Paul Society has, uh, has a big impact for us because Mum used to work for Vinnie's, still does, and so we have been, they've been a, a major recipient of, of, uh, of both cash and time in, in what we do. Uh, we're big on the um, homelessness front and uh, I, was all, I, I do the CEO sleep out every year. Uh, we have a number of other charities, Oz Harvest, uh, Beacon Foundation, there's, you know, and quite a few others that we support and actually work in. Mm -hmm.